Robespierre is envious of the adoration lavished upon Marat, but ever the pragmatist, he turns his attention to pressing matters at hand. Because though Marat is dead, there are still others calling for blood, royal blood. The Conciergerie, death's dark antechamber. Eight months after the execution of her husband, and just days after the killing of Charlotte Corday, Marie Antoinette is jailed here in a hideous cell, utterly alone. One of the worst things that happens to Marie after the execution of Louis is her children are ripped away from her. Her children were the most important thing to her. And she knew that, that her son was going to be subjected to terrible abuse to make him forget that he was ever royal by these revolutionaries. And it turns out she was right. It only took a couple years after it, uh, her son died of terrible neglect and abuse. The once vain Marie Antoinette is 38 years old, but the revolution has aged her beyond her years. Marie Antoinette, avait été une jolie femme. Marie Antoinette had been a very pretty woman, elegant, until the revolution. From 1788-89, she got thinner, her hair went white. She abandoned all her coquetry and her pretty things. She became emaciated. When she arrived for her trial, she was unrecognizable. On October 15th, 15, Marie is put on trial accused of high treason and depleting the national treasury. The little evidence offered is salacious and vengeful rumor. A final charge is added to the list. She is accused of incest with her son. At this, Marie stands to defend herself. I appeal to the conscience and feelings of every mother present to declare if there be one amongst you who does not shudder at the idea of such horrors. Yes, Mamola. And at that moment, there was a change in the mood because all the women felt they were implicated and they realized they had gone too far with these accusations. In a moment of public sympathy, Marie hopes she will be deported to Austria, but her hopes are dashed when the sentence is handed down. She is to meet the same fate as her husband. Marie Antoinette was, in a sense, doomed from the start. She was the symbol of this Austrian alliance that had proved disastrous for France. She was, along with her husband, a laughingstock because of the apparent sexual failure of their marriage. And she was a symbol of court culture at a time when people were coming to see the court culture itself as something completely corrupt and terrible for the country. So for all of these reasons, she was hated like no queen of France had ever been hated before. She was loathed, she was reviled. From her cell, Marie writes a final letter, bidding farewell to her children and family, promising to be brave. Her long gray hair is cut in preparation for the blade. are tightly bound. As she is escorted from the prison gates, she expects a carriage. Instead, there awaits a common criminal's cart. She hopes when she's taken off to execution that she's going to get the same treatment that the king got, meaning she would be in an enclosed carriage so the crowd couldn't get her. But they just put her in an open uh, wagon where people would shout all sorts of things, horrible things, horrible threats at her. A shadow of the sovereign she once was, Marie Antoinette maintains a queenly dignity as she is paraded through the streets of Paris. against her are read out. The 
last queen of France is dead. Several days later, following countless more executions, a member of the National Convention notes the pointless waste of life as one after another of his colleagues are lost to the guillotine. The revolution is like Saturn devouring its own children, he says. Danton sniffs, revolutions, my friend, cannot be made with rose water. The bloodshed has only just begun.